boys and girls. Welcome once again to where? Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Oh, I need you to turn around to the people. Okay, thanks, Judah. Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Thank you guys for sharing your time with us. And we want you to say hello to the boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Miss Etta's Academic Corner. And we're going to read. Yes, we are. My name is Judah. My name is Judah Jr. And we're from the Judah family. Thanks, boys and girls. Okay, guys, y'all have a seat right there. Take the load off your paws. <laughs> Hold that. That's right. You hold that. Thank you. So we're reading a book today called Our Class is What? A Family. Wow. Think about that, boys. Our class is a family. So get comfortable. Make sure your glasses, lens are clean. If you've got milk, cookies, hot chocolate, whatever you got, orange juice, apple juice, make sure you put it on the side so that you don't waste anything. If you got an apple, you can eat it while we're reading. And get comfortable. You're right. You're ready? So what colors do you see, boys and girls? Uh, there's green. There's blue. There's white. There's like an orange. There's a whole lot of colors in here. You see a lot of people, a lot of kids down here. Some big kids, kids with glasses, kid in a wheelchair. This book says our class is a family. Family isn't always your relatives, boys and girls. It's the ones who accept you for who you are. The ones who would do anything to see you smile and who love you no matter what. So, this is a soft book, soft cover book. And the author, who is the person that wrote the book, is Shannon Olson. The illustrator is Sandy, looks like Sanak or Sanake. And the illustrator is what, boys and girls? The person that draws the pictures for the book. And we have a lot going on in this book. So let's get ready. This book was dedicated for to a man to Maddie and Emma and Cole and Annabelle. Our class is a family. When you think of a family, you might picture one in a house. A mom, a dad, a couple of kids, plus their dogs, and a, and a pet mouse. Mm. I don't know about the mouse. I, we could do without him, but all right. Okay. So that's what you traditionally think when you think about family. But there are all types of families, boys and girls. Some have your grandma. Some have a stepmom and a stepdad. Some could have 14 cousins or the twin that makes you mad. They could be your family. But family doesn't even have to be the people that you're related to. It can be another special group of people who you love and care, and care for you. So your family could be the people that you spend a lot of time with, like in school. There's particular people in school that you like to be around with, hang around with, play sports with, play music, whatever. Have you ever thought about where you spend most of your time? It's in school with all of us. And that's where those hours went. So a lot of you spend a lot of time in school. Now, you might spend a lot of time in school in brick and mortar, which is the building. You might spend a lot of time in virtual school, or you might spend a lot of time online. But you're still spending time with these people. A lot of time. So if our classroom is the place where we spend our days, why wouldn't we want to make it like a home in many ways? So you make it comfortable. If you're in the brick and mortar, the building, your class is where you make it comfortable. You got pictures up. They got a picture saying home sweet classroom. 
It's a place where you can show respect and kindness to each other. A spot where we can be ourselves and make memories with one another. So see how they're hanging out with each other? They consider them family. We'll have things in common. These are connections that we'll seek, but we'll still celebrate our differences and what makes each of us unique. So we celebrate each other and we celebrate what makes us different because all of us are unique. All of us are special. Our classroom is a special haven where it's okay to make mistakes. We learn from them and try again, no matter what it takes. So no, so your family in school are people that you can make, make mistakes around. It's okay. They'll help you out. They'll encourage you. They'll make sure that you don't feel too bad and that you'll be able to get the answer. They'll even help you work it out. We all have tough days sometimes, but your teacher is here for you. As long as you're a friend to others, your peers will be there too. So there are always going to be people that are going to work with you, help you, help you get through class, get through math, get through English, whatever it is you got to get through. In this classroom of four walls, we will stick together. We'll help each other learn and grow in any kind of weather. So whether it's raining, sunny, sleet, or snow, the classroom is the place to go. People will always be there to help you. Your friends are always in the class. So let's remember, boys and girls, what a great team can be. You have our back and we have yours. We're a classroom family. So I want you boys and girls to think about in school who would you consider to be part of your classroom family? What boys and girls? What boys and girls do you feel good around? What boys and girls do you feel like you're able to tell secrets to? <clears throat> and they'll help you tell those secrets to your parents. What boys and girls are able to help you do your work? That is it, boys and girls. Think about who is your classroom family. See you next time.